I just hope by. Eighty months, my back. Eighty months? Tell your kid you're gonna have to keep your head down, boy. Huh? Where are you? I'm doing sick, boy. I'm in fucking school. Yeah, I've got, I've got a bit there. Where are you? Down the lane there. I'm not going anywhere, but you just come down and I'll be standing here waiting for you. Yeah. You heard some of the corner? Alright, you can stay there, alright? 
Oni isti. Too good for the likes of him. Ah, uh, when we're alone, I see a different side to him. He can be really sweet and, you know. Yeah. yeah. Great in the sack, like. You dirty lot, I knew there must have been something. Ah, uh, no, seriously. When we're together, there's a connection. It's like when I was younger, I'd be bringing home all the stray dogs and my dad would be kicking them out. Well, not in a strange like. But Tara, he's destroyed himself. And if you stick with him, he'll take you with him. He's not that bad, Michelle. Really, he has a good side. Tara, you're just marking yourself for a lost cause. You're going to learn the hard way. Trust me. Good evening at six o'clock. I'm Joe Seward and our top story tonight. A man with strong links to organised crime and part of a major drug cartel has been shot dead in Grafton Street just off Oliver Plunkett Street in the centre of Cork City. The remains of the man in his late 20s were found with one gunshot wound to the head. The deputy state pathologist, Dr Michael Curtis, visited the scene and carried out a preliminary examination. The body has been removed to the Cork University Hospital, where a post-mortem will be carried out tomorrow morning. Sitting down, what does it look oh, like yeah. I'm doing? You can sit where I want to sit. Jesus Christ, boy. Can you? They're trying to do me for everything. They've got no fucking prints and they're trying to put me in the same fucking place as the boys were. Someone's fucking ratting, Tony. I know. Someone's fucking ratting. What are you gonna do? Fucking pigs! What am I gonna do? Yeah. What am I, fucking Superman? What can I fucking do? Skip or something. I'll go with you. I don't give a fuck. I will, yeah. I will go. Fuck all here anyway. Yeah, I'm out of a fucking Tara. Fuck Tara. I know, like... I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry, but I don't know. Yeah, you don't know. Jesus Christ. Tara, what is it? Why Tara? The mine Tara. Tony, she's the only family I have, boy. What am I? I'm Think telling you. It. I'm telling you, man. I am not going fucking down for this. And I don't care what they throw at me. Come on, I'm going fucking score them.
flickers orange on this night Hides the whitened skin upon your face The empty feel of darkness in the distance Guide you on the trail you go your way You fade away Good morning, our top story this morning. Gordier describing the 300 million seizure of cocaine off the coast of Oysterhaven as the biggest find ever made in the history of the state. We'll be going live to Oysterhaven in a moment to update you on what has been quite a dramatic morning. Oh, look. What? Something here. What? I see it at me. Mick Barrafell has something called on Friday. You should lock that little fucker up and throw away the key. Mm. I wish Tarly get some sense to stay away from that scumbag. Possession of illegal substances with an account of supply. Jesus Christ, what she says to him, fucking beyond me, you know. I'm you know, just knackered to it, you know. Look, put that in. You can build it for me later on. I'm just knackered, right? Um. Alright. Will you eat it now, Gage? Will you know me, I hate it? Yeah, I'll, you know me. Alright, fine. I'll be quite quiet up the stairs. Tara's asleep. Alright. the best Tara. It really is for the best in the long run. Believe me. I know mum. This world is hurt so much. Because the heart works in mysterious ways. Sure I can tell you that. You look who I ended up with. Ah that's my girl. Tara there's better fish in the sea than McBarrett you know. I don't know how you ended up with him. Because he's no wild thing. And I am. You're beautiful. You're just like your mum. And you know you're beautiful. And you never gave us an ounce of trouble from the day you were born. Tara. You know. Mick has had every opportunity and there are people and places out there that can help him but he's doing nothing about it. Even your father, in fairness to Paul, he's done everything to try and sort that boy but no bloody good. Anyway, enough of the history lesson. Are you going to come down for a while? I think I'll stay up here if that's okay. Alright love. I'm 
to your form, yeah. Yeah, this is the third time I'm after ringing you. Get back onto me or I'll break your fucking neck. See if you're out of bed. Morning. 20 past 11. I right, get up and shake it off, you'll be grand. Fuck your dad. Your mother sort him out. Yeah. Tell her to give us a fucking break, or will ya? Look, I'm going in town there after. Hook up with us after, will ya? Yeah. That's my girl. See you later. <laughs> Don't ever do that to me again. What are you doing here? Did you not listen to a word I told you last night? You need help. Great, Terry, will you? I'm about your old man trying to kill me, Leslie. Hey, hang on a second now. My dad tried to kill you last night. That's ridiculous. It's true. He pulled up in his taxi, bullying for me. I was on the phone with you at the time. And you got cut off? No. I hung up because you were wrecking my head. I shouldn't have really after me, to scare them all of us just to get away with him. And they went to the pub for a few gaps. They were all poor. Ah, don't take the piss of me now. Dad, I'm not taking the piss, I really want to get clean. I believe that when I see it. Now look, you know if my dad sees you with me, he will kill you. Oh, that's a great start. I promised my mum I'd cut myself from another day. I can't. Tara! 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 Do you know how fucking hard it is to get clean, like? For that little fucking prick jock. I haven't seen him around here all week, boy. How are you doing? Uh, fucking not good, boy. Terrors are meant for the fucking kill me last night. What? Chase me down the street like a fucking mad cunt. There it is. Barrett, you bastard! Oh, fucking boy, yeah. Barnett, you fucking bastard! Stay awake, my daughter, I'll fucking kill you! There's a mad one, alright, boy. He obviously don't want you with Tara. Fuck him. Well, what's the story with this little prick? Who? Jack, is it? Yeah. He still owes you fucking money. Does he fucking what? They're gonna break his fucking jaw when they see him. Alright, look. If I see him, I tell him you're looking, right? He knows I'm fucking looking for me, you dizzy cunt. That's why he's not answering any of me fucking phone calls. Alright. He's acting the fucking langer, right, so, isn't he? Acting the langer? He's a fucking langer. Yeah. I'm going up the lock after there for a few gats, and I'm meeting Dino for a bit of shit. Right. Meet us up there, will you? Nice one. Yeah, what time? About six o'clock. Right. Um, Boy, you have shit to do? No, no, I just told him what I call up to there, will you? Who's you want to come with us? Fuck you, boy. Go ahead. Right. Yeah, he comes up here, don't he? Who? Oh. What the fuck have we been just talking about? Oh, fucking Jack. Yeah, yeah, I've seen him on the ride a couple of times. Yeah, you see him, tell him fucking phone me. Alright, no bother. Talk to you that way. Wake up, dead man. Jesus Christ. Do that again and I'll bust your 
fucking head. Alright, fire five, what's the story? Yeah, what do you want? You any shit on ya? There's nothing, mate. I'm hanging, man. There's nothing. Fuck off. Did you need blow on ya? What's my name, Rolly? You roll it for us. What's your fucking self for you look like? Don't you get your shit off? None of your fucking business. Sorry, Brian. Fucking dying, Brian. <laughs> Fucking tell me about it. Yeah, it's more. Sound, man. I suppose you're to go with it now. You fuck all, Brian. Getting on the package after all, you know. Yeah. Nice one. It's time now, what you know? Nah. No. That's your opinion. Finish the bro. Fuck, Brian. Sorry about that. Oh, fuck all, Brian. I'm not sorry at all. Where are that, Brian? She's back to get him before you know it. Whatever, boy. Hello. Yeah. Tara. Every fucking thing I said to you this morning, I meant. Yeah. Of course I do. Will you still meet me in the same place yeah. after, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, five o'clock. I'll be there. Yeah, see you later. She's keen, boy. I thought it was all half a minute ago. What you just want to change, Ale? Yeah, nothing that fucking concerns you anyway. Some nothing, boy. What you do? You get down on one knee and confess your own I love her, is it? Oh, Tara, I love you, Tara. Tara, I want you to have my baby. Don't shut Tara. the fuck up for two minutes, will you? I told her it was going to get clean. What? Fucking hell, boy, you got it bad, boy. You don't really mean that, do you? Of course I fucking mean it. Look at the fucking state of the two of us. If we don't get clean, I'll fucking die, man. What about the package there, though? Fuck. We'll have to cancel it. We can't cancel it, boy. Think about it. Get fucking freak. Make the meat, boy. We're tired of no one talking to Yeah, I want to see if finds out. She's not going to find out for me. Fucking Dino you know, have your balls, boy, if you don't get that. Come on, boy. It's going. We'll make the meat. Yeah. But not a fucking word to Tara. I'm not gonna hold my mouth. Not a fucking word. I'm not gonna hold my fucking mouth. Jesus Christ, boy. The fuck's wrong with you? Fucking hell. You have my word, boy. Your word? Yeah. I'm going after school, boy.
there I told you, the lock. Yeah, alright. Go on and see you after. Jesus Christ, what's wrong with you now? Dino, sorry, but I thought you were someone else. Why are you there now? Yeah, I thought it was a quarter to five. No, I'll stay there. I'll be there five minutes and walking up to you now, right? No, I'll give you the white from on condition. What's that? No, you better have the coin for this next week. Or else, well, you know the rest. I'm not taking the heat from printed for you. I'm not going to let you down, boy. Well, next week, so, you contact me. By the way, the lad you caught up in Spike. Watch yourself, that's all I say. Mind him, boy, he was only a mug. Should have finished him off when I had the chance. He's no a mug. I have to step on the wrong people's souls, Mick. All I say is, watch your back. Get yourself a vest. Trust me. Yeah, nice one, Dino, yeah. Sarah, starting with you, come on. Go ahead, look. I'm surprised you came at all after what I did this morning. Well, give us a kiss and something we forgive you. <laughs> There's more I need to forgive before you get a kiss off of me again. Luke. Are you serious about getting clean? Do you understand why I don't believe you? Tara, I want to get clean. I've always wanted to get clean. I just don't understand the hard the drugs have over me, Luke. Then why did I you know, McCarthy hand you a package a while ago at the lock? I was going to tell you. It was my last time getting something. Bullshit, you're only saying that because I saw you. I saw everything. Clara. I can explain that, like. You don't need to. Jesus Christ, Tara, what are you doing? If you can't beat him, join him, right? Jesus Christ, I don't understand you at all, girl. You said that stuff don't even agree with you. Look, you will never change. My dad will never change. We'll leave it at that, okay? We just don't understand, Luke. But you never will. You're happy I'm here, right? Yeah. Then shut up and kiss me. See the lock after, right? Eh? All right, sir. Fucking ten years, boy. Ten years. Yeah, with that ten, fucking hollering in the skitty. Ten days is a long time. I wouldn't be able to do that. Yeah. Come off the window. I got fucking rattling. See, Tara. With it, John. Nice. Say everything. Come on, that job for that. We've been on for ten years. Say everything. Wouldn't you want to hold that off, Frank? Wouldn't you? Oh, uh, you make you do that, though, boy. Huh? If you like those, just, just, I don't want to stop. No comfort, boss. See. I just want to get out of my life, no, I'll say. Oh, yeah, it's on me time. It's on me time. 
Are you taking down and getting on with me, Dave? Huh? I reckon I'll take. Are you changing the subject for? No, I'm only out for four months, Dave. I'm trying to get me late. Who said you know all about fucking ratting? I'm only out for four months. Babbies is a party, I know. I'm fucking second, then money talking to the bloke. Alright, alright, stop. You know what I'm fucking talking about? Can I just leave it off, like? Just yeah. Leave it off? Leave it off? Might as well. Leave fucking ten years of my fucking life off, is it? I couldn't even have a bath in that shizzle off, like. I don't know. I just, I, I, I just... I just think that fucking... Like that, the serious chapter in the Skidae Sealand's thing. It was a big haul there, wasn't it? Very big haul. Mm. You, you actually, you actually involved in that? I never knew involved in things like that. That's 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 big time, right? Plus, they they wouldn't get that many in in years. Red, no. Our customs wouldn't get it, but it was really skinny got it. Hey, you sure? I don't know what's up. Oh. That's it. Huh? Good job. Where's Mika? Thomas. Come on, you fucking rat! Come on! Get to see him. That's what you're trying to say, right? Oh, he's got an old friend of me. Yeah, that's all I'm going to get after. Why is it? Why tell you something like that? Nothing. It's just how I'm going to get after, don't we? Nothing's going to happen. Stop saying it. Stop being outside, isn't it? Stop looking out the window. Fuck, there's something else going to happen. You're not seeing that, you're not saying it. No, it's not necessary. Ah, you're right! Nick, please! Nick, no! since yesterday, right? And that's not like Tara. And here we are, all ready to go out. I've my hair done, you have a lovely meal booked. We haven't been out in ages and she would spoil our bloody night. But I'm telling you this much, I'm fixing her this time when she comes home. You're getting your niggers in a twist up or nothing. She probably stayed with, uh, what's her face, Mijella, a mate. No, no, as I said, she'd have phoned her mother. There's something going on here. I have this motherly feeling. Lisa, you were out last night, Clough, right? Yeah. Tell me, did you see your sister last night? I want to know the truth now. Yeah, I saw her with McBarrett about 10 mile off with the Balkans. Hang on a minute. She was with McBarrett drinking fucking beer. Oh, Jesus, man. Get that up, honey. And remember, we're going out. I don't care who asks you to do what. Really? Good evening, sir. Um, we're looking for the Murphy household. This is the Murphy household. Yes, yes. Um, we're detectives from Anglesey Street. We're looking to have a word with you, if possible, sir. Okay. Uh, it might be best, Mr. Murphy, if we go inside. Well, yeah, it's good, please. It's about your daughter. She's uh, she's in hospital and she's not in good health. Jesus Christ! What do you mean she's not in good health? Well, she's she's in a she's in a coma. Oh. Oh, 
And the two lads that she was with are being held in a, in a guard station, Anglesey Street guard station. Who am I she was with? Fucking Barry. Fucking Mick Barry! Fucking Mick Barry! Is that who it is? Look, I can't tell you. Um, all I can tell you is that she was at a party at the lock. Um, she took cocaine and she fell into a coma. Yeah, it was a young lad called Mick Barrett. She was at a party, she took cocaine. Um, My daughter doesn't take drugs, Kev. She doesn't fucking take drugs. Look, Mr. Murphy, that's young people for you. They just don't listen. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mr. Murphy. Nasty instant goes down in your house, you've nothing to do with it, right? Am I right? John, I don't have a fucking clue where I am, right? I was completely out of it, like I just don't know. I don't know what's about to happen. Who was in the house? I don't know. Was Frank Donovan in the house? I need to know who was in the house. I don't know. I need to know who was in the house. I told you I was out of it, man. I just don't know, okay? Was Frank O'Donovan in the house? Was Frank O'Donovan in the house? Look, Tony, I'm trying to help you out here. But you gotta give me something. Was Frank O'Donovan in the house? What would you do with me if I said yeah? That's all I need, confirmation he was there. You've done the right thing here. You've told me that you really care about this girl. Look man. Frank was living with me, alright? 
He was probably there, that's all I'm gonna say. You check it out for yourself. This whole nasty incident is a chance for you to go clean. I hope you're gonna take it. <laughs> I'm fucking taking it alright, man. I'm after this, Jan. After this, I'm fucking. I'm out. Your dad is outside. You wanna see him? <sighs> yeah. Please. Okay. Let's look at going clean. I know I owe you 20 from last time, but I thought so, you know I'm good for it, right? Seriously. I'm sorry about that, I know I should have. I know, yeah. Look, can I call up to you there in a while? Yeah, Mike's with me. Yeah. Nice one, I swear to God, I'd, I'd sort you out for that. I'd sort you out for that now. Thanks, man. Wait, did you get it? Yeah. Fucking yes! Speaker. Good evening, Mr. and Mrs. Murphy. The news is not good. But it's not bad either. No, in layman's terms, with the amount of cocaine that Tara had in her bloodstream, she did not have a hot flag, but it did induce a coma. Mr. and Mrs. Murphy, we don't exactly know how long Tara will be in a coma. It could be a week, it could be a month. We really just don't know. It's in God's hands now. I'm sorry. Sister. She's on life support. Last time in house, she was a big problem. Her? Yeah. Is this the only girl that died? Right, that could have happened now for a few years. Come on.
And now we would ask the members of the general public to uh, leave and give the Murphy family their final few moments with their beloved Tara. Thank you. She always said he was no good for her. Well, she was right. When I knew him, he was a good for nothing junkie, and he still is. What did Tara get involved with him? She was friends with Tony Romani, and he's a buddy of Mick Barrett. That's how they met. I never thought she'd get involved with drugs, eh? I thought she'd be going for college, have her head screwed on. I don't know. She got mixed up in it all. School went out the window. All I know is Mick Barrett is going to pay for this dearly. We've just been with Tara and you're talking about making people pay. And you're talking about getting, letting them get away with it. We don't know that those drugs belong to Mick Barrett. The guards released them. I don't give a fuck about the law. As far as I'm concerned, Mick Barrett brought her up to that apartment and if he didn't, she'd still be alive. He's going to pay for this. She was my daughter and I know she wouldn't want you talking like this. Not when she'd just been laid to rest. Now, for our mother's sake, stay out of trouble while you're in court. We don't need another funeral. You want to let him get away with this? A thousand times I've told you. Time and time again. Stay away from drugs. But you didn't listen. Tara didn't listen. Now she's gone. Oh, you had no fucking options. You had fucking plenty of options. I got your job driving a fucking taxi and you wouldn't take it. That was a bullshit job. Any job that puts bread and butter on the table for your family is not a bullshit job. You know what I mean. I don't know what you fucking mean. Exactly, you never fucking know. No, you don't know because you never listen to anybody. You're always fucking right. Always fucking right. Tired is only in the ground. What are you talking? Revenge. Oh, and while you're under my fucking roof, any problems, any problems, any fucking trouble, and I won't be them bosses you're going to have to worry about. It's going to be me. Have you fucking got that? Yeah, right. Fucking coward. All his life. Oh. Where does Mick Barrett usually drink? Where he, where he served, I say to myself. Tara used to meet him in the catwalk. I'll be back. Will I go with you? No, you stay there. I'll be back soon. This will be Baron. Get around drinks here, please. Thanks. No. No. Oh. 
I didn't see you at the fucking funeral, boy. What are you talking about, boy? I was at the fucking funeral. I was just keeping me distance. Mm. I don't know what family was going to take that. Yeah. Well, I fucking stood there and I watched they put her into the ground, boy. And I couldn't help but think that I helped put her there. Stop it, boy. And you fucking told me, you fucking helped put her there too, boy. I don't know about you, boy, but that's the last time I'm ever going to be responsible for something like that. Fuck off. I'm getting clean, man. I'm getting yeah. out of this shit. It used to be for a bit of crack, but I know about the fucking funerals. And I keep wondering, what if she never met us, but Would she be alright? And I think she would, Mick. I don't know if you ever give a fuck about her or anybody else. But if I was you, I'd be getting all of this shit too. Otherwise, the next film we've got to be yours, boy. But you fuck off. I fucking cared about Tara. It was a fucking accident. That could have been fucking anyone of the fucking two of us. If it wasn't for that fucking Frank O'Donovan and his fucking... Oh, you fucking spare me the bullshit, boy, will ya? For fuck's sake. The girl you said you loved just died of an overdose and here you are still getting and smoking on a fucking alleyway, boy. Look, I don't give a fuck what you do, boys. But I'm not having any part of it anymore. I get out of this fucking shit. Will you get it together, boy, will ya? Fuck's sake, boy. Do you know what, Go fuck yourself! Tony! Do you know? It's Mick Barrett, boy. Yeah, Steve Murphy just rang me. He wants to fucking meet me down with Tom and Bear. He wants to fucking take me out, man. What you want me to do? Yeah? Listen, I haven't got fucking much size, have I? Do you know? Listen, man. I'm fucking hanging here, man. Any chance you start us up with a bit of gear? I'm not forgetting about that. I'll start out with the coin when I get me doll. I'm putting my fucking miserable life on the line so that you can fucking... Ah, oh, nice one, man. Listen, I'll ring him when I get to the bell, right? Go on, I'll talk to you after. I don't know if fucking don't Steve call me Steve. Brenton. You have an iron talk, right? Mr. O'Reilly. Mr. O'Reilly. I don't know if fucking Stephen Murphy. You know his sister. Look. I was at a house party with his sister, Tara. She's my fucking bird. This scumbag Frank Donovan gave her a lot of coke and she fucking OD'd. Stephen Murphy came to me at the funeral. Want me to set up Frank Donovan? That's the last they fucking seen of him. Okay. Well, here's what I want you to do for me. Donovan. We know where he is. You know Frank Donovan? What are you, a fucking tape recorder? What did I just say? Now, I want you to go to Murphy. Tell him you know where Donovan is. 
And then when you have done that, you phone Dino and you give him the time and the place. You got that? Have you got that? Yeah, I suppose, yeah. What, you suppose? What's in this for me? <laughs> What's in this for you? You get to celebrate your next fucking birthday. That's what's in that for you. Now get the fuck out of the car. Thanks, Mr. Riley, yeah. Yeah, I'll have a look at this city. I haven't fucked it up like you have mine. Not yet, anyway. Anto, what time did I tell Dean not to be here at? Huh? Half an hour ago, boss. Half an hour. Guess what it is? Oh, time. Right, lads. Scott. The fucking better rolls than a period of many. Yeah? What time did you tell to be here? Not here, no, not here. I'll ask you again. What time were you told to be here? Half an hour ago. Half an hour ago. What's the problem? Show us some respect. You're the fucking problem. I'm not here for the good of the health, you know. I don't usually do the PAs. What the fuck are PAs? Some kind of fucking drug that you're bringing in, isn't it? One boss, do it! Personal appearance is your fucking ages. You have a fucking serious attitude problem, you know? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. relax no more, like okay? it? Sit down. Then. Relax. Just sit fucking down oh. and shut up. Sit down and shut up. Fuck, oh, fucking hearts. Just shut us, fix it, don't worry. Enough. You're a fucking old man to me, I'm telling you. I fuck you through that window now. Now listen. Murphy is home for his sister's funeral. Be back for a day, a week. I don't know how long it takes to mourn your sister. But he's not leaving Ireland again alive. And we're going to give him company on that journey. Barrett's gone with him too. So the two of them are fucking history. Okay? Everything's going to come through John Aaron, as per usual. He has all the details, everything else, okay? Alright. I'll see you on the drill. Come on, boys. Be a poxy night, it's, it's gonna snow or something. Mm -hmm. Say hello to him for me. Yeah, I'll do that. Good. Okay, come on. get a point when we get it. How oh, can you? The thing is we fucking wait. set up from fucking start to finish. And you think I'm going to fucking walk over there? Look, we, if we have that problem, we we'll sort out what we're doing. But at the moment, you need to keep yourself together. You can't win there in this mood. How can you, you fucking sort it out if it's real from fucking beginning to fucking end, man? You've got to calm yourself. You've got to calm yourself down here. You've got to get a grip on this. 
You need to get yourself together. They're holding all the fucking cards, man. They're We've not. We've got fucking nothing. Well, we're going to argue that point when it comes to it. But in the meantime, you just need to get yourself together. You need to calm you down. To get up. You need to calm down. You, you can't, go in, my shoes, you can't go in front of the judge like oh, this. For you can't go in front of the judge like this. You've got to throw a book at you. We know what happened. But at the end of the day, do they have your fingerprints? Yeah. They do. No, you weren't caught selling bags as flour. Let's be real here. You just gotta get a grip on this. I just don't want to do any more fucking time, man. Look, I am going to sort this for you. 24-7. I'll work until you're out. But you're gonna have to do a bit of time. You're gonna have to do a bit of time. And you're gonna have to realize you're gonna have to do a bit of time. And I'll do my best to get you as little as possible. You can, you can. First tonight in Cork City, the culmination of a major drugs trial which has seen the handing down of a 10-year jail sentence to 27-year-old Mick Barrett from Blackpool in Cork City. He was described as the pivotal player in what was described by Judge Michael Clifford as a major drugs cartel. Mick Barrett, aged 27 from Blackpool, was handed down the sentence in the Cork Circuit Court by Judge Michael Clifford this afternoon. Hi Tony, my name is Caroline. You're very welcome here today. Would you like to come in and take a seat? Yeah. Thank you. How are you feeling, Tony? Not Would you great. like to take some water? Um, yeah, please. Yeah. Okay, so for the next hour, this is your space to speak about what you want to discuss. Sick of my life, you know. Sick of everything that's going on, you know. What is going on for you? My friend died of an overdose. She was only 18, and best friends have to get locked up for 10 years, you know. Mm -hmm. If I don't sort myself out, I'm going to end up like them, you know. Well, you've taken the first step in the right direction. I can clearly hear that you want to change your life. I don't want to end up dead or in jail, you know. That's why I'm here. Talk me through a, a day in your life. How about would your day start? Um, okay. I suppose the first thing we do is, um, first thing I'd have to do is uh, score if I got out of bed, you know, and that's why I didn't have anything in the house and, um, Just call my buddy Mick and we go, we go score some gear together, you know. Is Mick your friend that was locked up? Okay. Yeah. Um, that 10 years for uh, saving his fight. So after you score, what would you do then? Um, after we score, we just um, we'd find the nearest lane with you, you know. Yeah. It wasn't because we were scared of the guards or anything that we just, we just had to get into so bad, you know. Yeah. Do you smoke any yet? No, no. Okay. Just, just smoke it, you know. Yeah. Um, we always had a fear of the needles, you know. Um, we just, we just stayed lame and we were completely wrecked. Yeah. You know? Well, you've made a big choice by being here today. So additionally on to our sessions on a weekly basis, I will suggest that you attend a 12-step program, NA, Narcotics Anonymous. Um, in those meetings, you have people that will be there that are in the same boat as you, you know, that, that will support you and give you the help that you're going to need. Okay. So how does that sound? Terrific. Well, you've made the best choice by coming here today, so we'll take every day as it comes. So one day at a time, one step at a time. Thanks, Karen. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. You're welcome. Fucked. No, you're not. 
can be fine. Take some water. Just relax, as I said, we have an hour. I waited for your call, but then the time went by, and days turned into nights. I felt you really close, but there was something wrong. You've fallen from my heart You better love someone Before they let you go You better love someone Before the time is gone I wake up in the morning But the sun don't shine without you by my side Well, you should have met that hair of Maybe all. If you do fucking ant, you know. Ant can buy you the hair to fucking go all the way. Not once, boy. Not once did she ever fucking judge me for one thing I fucking did. And she knew I was fucking suffering, boy. She knew I couldn't get fucking clean. And she stopped by me, boy, till the fucking end, boy. I used to tell her boy, I used to play football boy, when I was a kid boy, I used to always say I'm going to play for Celtics, you know what I mean? And the mother, I used to tell Tony O'Mahony he played for the fucking homeless walk off. <laughs> fucking hell man. But I would have shut the fuck up when he was there that shot. Forget about that boy. stuff. How can you forget about it boy? You fucking leave boy, I'm stuck here. Whack of ten bells. Do you know what I mean? Your brother's dead. Your best friend is fucking gone. I'm stuck here, boy. Should be out there living my fucking life for her. Fucking hell. Hi, my name is Tony. I'm an addict. Um, we don't normally talk at meetings, you know. But I've been clean a few months now and I kind of. I suppose it's time to get it off my chest, you know? Um, I suppose all I really wanted was a good time, you know, and nothing else. But I know no, there's a high price to pay for that. And all my friends are not paying it except me. I've, I've been sober since my friend Tara died, and it's, it's, it's mostly balls, you know, it's not easy. I work a boring fucking job, and I have nothing to do except watch crap TV every night. I'm afraid to go up in case I get tempted. And whenever I do get tempted, I just remind myself of Tara's face, you know, as she was dying. <laughs> it's a shitty life I won't lie to you, but I'm just I'm just hoping something good could happen in the future, you know. Maybe I can meet a girl, settle down, get a place of my own. I'm a dad, maybe. you know. <laughs> I don't know if I've got what it takes to be a dad, but you'd never know, maybe someday, you know. The truth is, there's no escape, is there, you know. You have to face up to the hard things in life. Or it's to get you even harder when you're not looking. Is that right? Tara's not here at all, but you're right. 
I waited for your call, but then the time went by, and days turned into nights. I felt you really close, but there was something wrong. You fallen from my heart. You better love someone before they let you go. You better love someone before the time is gone. I wake up in the morning, but the sun don't shine without you by my side. You're in my heart. I tried so hard, but life just passes by. You better love someone before they let you go. You better love someone before the time is gone. Is love someone before the time is gone? 